The catalogue database used inside of AutoCAD Electrical is a file called default underscore cat dot mdb. The database is split into tables and each table corresponds to a type of component. For example, circuit breakers are in a table called CB, control relays are in a table called CR. Let's have a look at the catalogue database using Microsoft Access. As you can see, the tables inside of Microsoft Access correspond to the type of components that are in that table, for example, circuit breakers. These tables are defined within a table called Family Description, which details uh, what the abbreviation of the table means. Generally speaking, the tables are two characters. So how do you import a series of parts that you may have in Microsoft Excel, ASCII or CSV? Well, the simplest way is to export the table structure in the first place. We're going to export the data with formatting and layout. And we're going to export it to our desktop and call it cb.xls. We don't need any of the information that's already there so this can effectively be cut out or indeed you could just paste onto the end. Once you have a blank structure make sure you delete the RecNum field because this is a automated field inside of Microsoft Access. You can then simply copy and paste your Excel data into the structure that you just exported. Paste in the values. You must fill in the first five fields. In AutoCAD Electrical, when creating a new part, it forces you to fill in the first five fields. When importing Excel data into Microsoft Access, it doesn't warn you about this requirement, but you must fill in the first five fields. We can also fill in the web link details, which could be a link to the manufacturer's website or indeed a PDF located on your server, meaning that technical documentation could be produced uh, automatically from defining parts. Save the information once completed. Back in Microsoft Access, Right click over the table and you can select import, import from Excel and you need to append a copy of the records to the existing table. Because we exported the table structure in the first place, we don't have to change any of the field headers. And this data will go straight into the Microsoft Access database, therefore becoming available for all users to utilise.